On the corner of 140th Street and St. Anne's Avenue, you find St. Anne's Church, a church that's been there since 1841. And buried there lies Governor Morris, one of our founding fathers and the man who penned the Constitution, who authored the preamble and fought with Hamilton to outlaw slavery. I came to visit Morris because I believe we can remodel his hometown from the poorest district in the country to a space center where people between the ages of 18 to 26 are responsible for rockets being launched into space every day. And this is not a new idea, but just a variation on a means that has been applied before. It goes back to when FDR launched the Civilian Conservation Corps as one of the many work relief programs that were created as a part of the New Deal, which completely transformed the productive capacities of the United States and created a new generation of skilled workers. The CCC, had a total of 3 million people who enrolled in the program, averaging about 300,000 people a year. This demographic included roughly 5% of the nation's young men who enrolled in the program, which made up about 3 million people. But I'm not talking about any ordinary kind of relief program, but one that would literally lift mankind off the earth, into the universe and beyond, in the form of a new revolutionary space civilian conservation corps. The youth now require a new inspiration in their lives, in the form of a nationally oriented mission back to the moon and eventually to Mars and beyond, as NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine outlined in the Artemis program. The American youth under this program will be at the very frontiers of scientific research and discovery and be recruited to a workforce that will completely reshape the productivity of the nation by developing new capabilities in manufacturing, processing, and other forms of labor. This was Governor Morris's intention when he wrote the preamble to the United States Constitution. Humanity is directed towards a greater mission in their lives, a mission which will be told of hundreds of years after their lives. That is the general welfare. That is the United States which did not begin as a place, but as an idea in the minds of history's greatest thinkers who dedicated their lives to improving the living standards of people who would live far after them. Zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared.